Hello, welcome back to my channel. I have a little haul for you all today. Um, I've literally just popped into Ely this morning, so I thought I would show you what I got. Um, I went to Super Drug, yep, yeah, Super Drug Boots and Holland and Barrett. So it's a mini haul, but I thought you might enjoy, so I'll show you anyway. Um, I went to Super Drug first, so I'll start there. Picked up three things in Super Drug. The first thing being this. Um, eyeshadow stick like crayon thing it is by Rimmel and it's just in like a white like a whitey silver I actually picked this up for a Halloween look that I'm going to be doing keep your eyes peeled for that um, but I needed a white pencil so I just picked that one up and um, I've tried it out it's actually quite nice so I might use it normally as well um, I also picked up some of the Colab dry shampoos um, I very much always go to Batiste, uh, but I really wanted to get one that I could just throw in my bag. Um, and Colab have got these really cute little mini sized ones, which I know Batiste do, but when they're cheap I thought I'll, I'll try one out. Um, so I got the New York one, which is a fruity fragrance, and the London one, which is their classic fragrance. And I'm just going to try them out, and I'm just going to keep them in my bag and see how they go, because you can never have too much dry shampoo in my opinion, so... Yes. I think they were like a pound each as well. I think they're on offer. I might be wrong, so don't quote me on that, but I think they're on offer. <laughs> then I went into boots and again I picked up three things. The first thing being the uh, Sally Hansen Miracle Nail Thickener for softening nails. Instantly harder, instantly harder rather, thicker nails, which is like this. Um, I needed a new strengthening nail polish. I've always used Sally Hansen for like strengthening nails, I love their treatment nail polishes, they're always really really good um, and this is one that I saw, they didn't have one that I normally have so I was just having a look around and they were on um, buy one get one half price so I picked up that one the Miracle Nail Thickener and then I also picked up this which I've never seen before, it's the um, cuticle or razor and balm remove and hydrate dry cuticles in one step um, cuticles are like a bane of my life. I can never get them nice. They always look a bit tidy and untidy, rather, and they kind of ruin my nails. So when I have them done, all I can see is my bad cuticles. Uh, so I thought I would give this a go. It's it's got a picture of a cucumber and a mint leaf on the front. So I don't know if that's what it's meant to smell like. I'm gonna get it out and try. But yeah, while I get it out, you literally just massage a small amount into your cuticles until completely absorbed. Use a cuticle pusher if needed to help further loosen hard to remove cuticles. There you go, a little tub like that. I love the pattern on it. I hope that goes all the way through. It doesn't really smell like anything. I'm a bit disappointed. Ooh. Ooh, it's very moisturising. It's kind of the general idea of it, I think. Hmm. It's definitely a, like a balm texture. I don't know, I've always tried oils, but oils haven't really done anything for my cuticles, so I thought I would give that a go. I don't know whether it's new or not. I've never seen it before. I don't know if I said that previously, but yeah, this is my half price thing, so I thought I'd give it a go. Also from Boots, I picked up the Veet uh, wax strips for sensitive skin. It's got almond oil and vitamin E in. Now, I... Don't know if you're going to think this is really weird, but I shave my arms. I have I've got really pale skin, but I've got quite dark hair on my arms, and I don't really like it. And I've always shaved them, um, but you have to do that a lot, and it gets really annoying. So I know places that I could go to salons to have them waxed, but I was like, I'll try it at home. It'll be cheaper if I can do it at home. And also, your arm isn't really like a massive area, so yeah, I'm going to give that a go tonight. See how that one goes. <laughs> I tried to wax my legs once. Um, and I put the wax strip on everything and I had to get in the bath to soak it off because I didn't have the guts to rip it off. Um, but I have had them waxed professionally and uh, it was fine so I'm probably just a bit of a chicken but. Then last but not least I went into Holland and Barrett and I've always wanted to get some coconut oil to use on my hair, on my skin because it's meant to be so moisturising. Um, but it's so expensive but when I went into Holland and Barrett they had this for half price and it was £7 something instead of like £15.99 now I wouldn't pay £15 for a massive jar of coconut oil to be completely honest but I would pay £7 um, so yeah I picked up this and I opened it and it's literally full to like the top you could not fit any more oil in there so you get a hell of a lot of oil for your money and you can use it I don't really like the smell of coconut 
don't know how I'm going to get on with this really. Um, but yeah, you can use it on your skin, on your hair, in your cooking, um, and it's really good for you in your cooking. So yeah, I thought I'd give this a go. A girl I know, she uses it religiously in her hair, um, and it leaves her hair feeling really soft and it kind of tames down the frizz that she has in it, so I thought I would give it a go, and as it was half price, I couldn't really resist it. So yes, picked up some 100% natural raw virgin coconut oil from Holland and Barrett. That's everything I picked up, told you it was a small haul. Keep your eyes peeled for some of those to be in uh, my October. October favourites, see how I get on with those. Don't forget all my social media links are down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Subscribe if you're new.